Hi guys, it's Nancy Trecker here. I am stoked to share my journey with you and just spill the beans on how I turned my passion into a lifestyle. I've noticed a few other creators are doing how I started my YouTube channel, why I started a YouTube channel, and here's my story, why I started a YouTube channel at age 50. So let's rewind a bit. I've been on YouTube since 2010, starting with my Zumba classes. It was uh, not my proudest moment, so let's just say those videos are private now. I was an accountant at a global accounting firm, but it wasn't my jam. I craved something more. In 2015, I took the plunge back to entrepreneurship. I did a garden center gig before, so I had some experience, but the garden center gig gave me a lot of lessons learned because it was a big tax write-off. Fast forward to 2022, just at the end of the pandemic, I'm realizing I can work from home sustainably. Cue the search for side gigs. Seven years in the making, and now I'm completely freelance, living life on my terms, kind of. In September of 2022, I birthed the Nancy Trekker persona, targeting backpacking and extreme adventures. Shout out to my friend, the Greg Escape, for the support and inspiration. I'll link to his channel right there. The first year was slow, but hey, Rome wasn't built in a day. Thanks, Greg, for all the support you gave me and are giving me still. In August of 2023, uh, this has been my biggest growth yet. So I left Winnipeg, drove through Mexico and Belize and back to Canada, gaining over 200 subscribers. This was a big moment for me. 200 subscribers, that's huge. And I thought, yeah, I can do this. Now I'm at the 500 subscriber mark and I'm eyeing that sustainable income by 2028. So it's been a hell of a week in the last two weeks. What has happened? I had everything lined up. I had an Airbnb to stay in down there. I had a renter for my condo in Winnipeg. Everything was lined up. And then last Tuesday, my wallet was stolen. I had to replace all my credit cards to get a temporary driver's license. This Tuesday, my renter was supposed to show up for my condo. He canceled at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. So I was scrambling to find a renter. The next day, my Airbnb in Mexico canceled completely due to circumstances out of their control. So I had to go back to the drawing board basically and figure everything out. Uh, plus I got a screw in my tire. Uh, so all that happened. It turns out everything worked out even better than what I had arranged in the first place. So everything happened for a reason. So it's uh, been tough leaving loved ones and adjusting to different countries, but the adventures make it all worthwhile. Time management is a beast. Shooting, editing, scripting, it's an art form. And balancing it with my day job is a juggling act, but I'm working on it. The YouTube algorithm can be a fickle friend as well. Sometimes it even forgets I'm here. So I've become a pro at prompting on my socials. I even wrote my tags on my car. And I've had people reach out to say, hey, I saw you driving. We passed each other a few times on the freeway. Just wanted to say, have a safe journey and, and hello. <laughs> So thank you guys for supporting my channel and showing me some love on my journey. I really appreciate it. So shorts, I'm a bit skeptical on whether I should even do them still, but they pulled in some subscribers for me. I'm currently experimenting with the idea of doing seven second clips just for the purpose of shorts or repurposing my existing content. So the YouTube game is all about adapting and experimenting and that's what I'm doing. Now you might be thinking, can I do this too? And yes, absolutely. Four key things. Show up for yourself, embrace your introverted side, persist through any doubts, either from yourself or from your, your followers, your family, and equip yourself with the right tools. What's in my toolkit? So I use a Motorola 15G Ace. It's an old phone. I bought it used. It is not new. I've ran over it. But what I'm saying is you don't need fancy equipment to start. I am soon upgrading to a Samsung S24 Ultra. I can't wait. But you don't need anything really special when you're starting out. Just do your best and work with what you got. I use VideoPad for editing. I use the free version of PhotoPad for thumbnails. I use OBS Studio for my animations, like when I do the trail map. 
So there you have it, my fellow Trekkers, adventurers out there, and you can make it happen too. Show up, persist, and use the right tools. Stay tuned for more behind the scenes magic. And until next time, happy trekking. There are three key things. Four key things. So my cool, my tool, my cool tool kit. I'm just experimenting for that, with that, for now. If you like my videos, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe.